my name is Walter Unglob and this is what determines what is statistically significant. In statistics, we'll have a distribution of a given random variable. If we have multiple random variables, then our distribution will be embedded in higher dimensions. In this case, I'm examining a normal distribution or a distribution, a bell-shaped curve that is described mathematically by a Gaussian distribution function. And the average value is typically denoted by the Greek letter mu. And then we have another variable called sigma, which essentially represents the spread in our distribution. So if I were to plot this, my y-axis would be probability, and my x-axis would be the different types of events that can occur. I can bin this if I have a discrete set of data, or I can examine this function continuously. But the point is, as I go further out away from the mean, I have a greater number of sigmas. So to the right, I would have positive sigma, positive 2, positive 3, so on and so forth. And then I would have sigma going away in the other direction. Here I'm assuming a symmetric distribution, but a distribution naturally doesn't have to be symmetric. If it was asymmetric, it wouldn't be Gaussian. But the point is, we would be using sigma to characterize or quantify uh, uncertainty in the system, and hence whether an event can be deemed statistically significant. Sigma, as a measure of uncertainty, is mathematically given as the square root of the average value of a random variable minus the average, mu, squared. I can manipulate this function and get the uncertainty sigma in terms of a square of the variable, taking an average of that, minus a square of the average. So it depends, of course, on what field we're discussing. In particle physics, for example, an event or a detection of a particle that must be deemed st statistically significant has to have some event or probability greater or equal to five sigma. So the greater this sigma value, the more one can deem an event to be statistically significant. If it occurred in the area or region of the distribution by the mean, then there's no differentiating such an event from a certain type of noise or some random event. If it occurs beyond a certain sigma threshold, then we can deem it to be statistically significant in this probabilistic manner. Naturally, this threshold depends, again, on what field we're discussing, and it can be entirely uh, described or defined by the experimenter or experimenting group. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is What Determines What is Statistically Significant. Thank you.